Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, welcome to this uh, video class, to this new session, uh, which is part of a course on maintenance of uh, brakes, suspension, and steering systems of uh, heavy vehicles. Uh, my name is Cesar Cardenas, and I'm, I am the professor responsible for this class. Today, we are going to talk about an air brake backup system. Uh, I want to focus today on the air brake system of course are the system that is used and apply on a heavy trucks uh, this is the first class that uh, we're gonna have on this issue the second class gonna be a different issue a different topic uh, related on maintenance of these systems so which are a part of this uh, class and the topics that we're gonna cover during this course so this is an air, uh, an air, uh, air brake backup system and this is basically a uh, research work, right? So I wanted to today to bring this class, to bring this topic, which is part of the research work. The research work is kind of interesting because they are, this research work is uh, was about uh, implementing, you know, a, a backup system to the air brake system structure. So here we have the basic structure of uh, air brake system used nowadays, the common structure of uh, system that is used nowadays on the heavy trucks. So we have here the uh, table, which are 10 components, so those are here, uh, the components have a label with a number, right? You see, uh, here on this, uh, on this table, we have the description of, of each of these components. So for example here number one we have number one and two right here are you see here one and two are the front axle and rear axle brake chambers number three that is right here we have a uh, brake valve number four is a parking control valve number five is centennial valve number six is a quick release valve which is uh, right here then we have seven that's there is a relay valve normal brake and relay number eight is normal uh, i mean relay valve right here for parking and we have as uh, in uh, automobile we have also a component here which is the abs solenoid valve for anti-brake uh, anti-loop brake system and there we have an air pressure gauge as maybe it's this one right here this doesn't have number 10 doesn't have a, a number right here but this is the the symbol of that the pressure gauge here and also we have the storage receiver from front and rear and the storage is storage receiver for the parking brake and here we have the air dryer and the air compressor so we are all talking about you know compressed air you know the way the fluid and it uses to uh, have all these uh, components of the system work you know so so those are the basic the say components nowadays that we have on uh, heavy trucks so the current bus um, brake system uh, that consists of parts, of two parts, I mean, this is the air brake and the source brake. So the source brake is not enough to replace on the air brake system. So in this research, so the results we're going to talk about a little bit and see and check the results that were obtained from this, or so the outcome that were obtained from this study, from the research work. I'm going to talk and show you a little, uh, some graphics I mean about that. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more. So the research you know, was focused on the new backup brake uh, mechanism uh, using several valves and back, back and backup compressor accumulators that are inserted into this um, uh, into this main brake system, right? Uh, which is the, the idea is to provide brake force, right? So for example, when air brake fails, or there is a failure of the brake or the air brake, so the backup system. Uh, can be using or can be used to slow down uh, and reduce the brake distance for requirements, you know, and to keep the safe um, uh, safety requirements and to keep the vehicle safe. So it will be safer if you have if this fails. So we have a backup system. Normally, for example, in, in other cars you have uh, some redundancy in the systems, you know, for example, a charging system or something like that have some redundancy. So here we have a backup system that is using this when when there is a failure of this air brake system. So we can have a backup system that you know can be used to uh, slow down, as I said, and reduce brake distance 
uh, for requirements uh, ability and a brake to make the vehicle uh, or to make the vehicle safe you know so you don't want to have a, to avoid accidents or something like that if you use this uh, backup system so finally for example according to the experimental results that were obtained during the study when the rear brake uh, system for example has a foil it fails or has a failure so the proposed system that is going to uh, that I'm going to show you is shown later on uh, can be let or can let the vehicle uh, can get a performance above the 90 percent of the original performance so there is a very important so if the front and rear brake for example if you have the rear if the rear system fails so you can have with the proposed system 90 percent of brake performance but if both the rear and front of the uh, bra uh, brake systems fail so the backup system that is as i told you is, is shown later on in this presentation if both of them fail the backup brake mechanism still can still have the ability to keep the brake performance about 57 70 75 percent of the original value so it's a very interesting study so regarding this so that's the idea of this class is to show you some of the new researches and works you know the research works that have been uh, developed you know uh, on, uh, regarding these kind of uh, systems in this specific case this um, uh, air brake system with a backup structure system or system structure in mean. well so the first if you compare the first um, uh, slide that I show you uh, now the new things here new components are this AQ this electronic control unit plus two solenoid valves you know, a couple of solenoid valves here we have the front number one is the front axle backup a solenoid valve number two shut off, shut off valves number two right here shut, shut off valves and number three the real also backup solenoid that is right here and you can see these solenoid valves are plugged or connected to the electronic control unit right so they are connected here and those are handled by some uh, kind of PA, uh, PWM signal pulse wide modulation so that's the way those are activated right so you see the other components are the same so very similar but we are this now now this, ba this backup system structure now is is showing here is i mean it's uh, showing this slide actually the new components that are inserted there and those are the ones that are going to be used for uh, the backup system from the front real uh, front and rear right the front and rear so the brake system structure, the normal uh, pneumatic brake system, is most of the large and medium-sized bus nowadays, and those adopts the new brake system and the spring parking system. There is now the parking system uses a brake, you know, it's more mechanical than I mean, a spring stuff, but this one is, is, uh, uses a uh, pneumatic, pneumatic system. So the former, for example, is uh, used to decelerating the vehicle and the later, you know, is used to keep the vehicle still doing the stop. So if the air pressure of the accumulators is not enough, is insufficient, the spring parking brake will activate will automatically, uh, or will be activated, I mean, automatically to provide part of the brake force to the vehicle. But now, if the, in large size vehicles, pneumatic system includes two, as I told you, front axle brake circuit, I mean, yeah, that is uh, one reel, or oh, two systems I mean that is front axle brake circuit and one rear axle brake circuit and of course one as you can see here parking brake system right so the overall structure here and the key components are shown in the previous slide you know and there you have all the 10 components that are included there so then here on the next, the next slide we have the front oh sorry I'm gonna go back. Ah, this is nice. This is plain. And here we have now in this figure of this diagram, 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 we have the front back system structure. So as I told you, we have two front and rear back system, and this one is the structure is shown in this figure. So it includes a relief valve, right? So you can see here the easier that the pneumatic valves right here could be two two valves, right? Two positions, you know. Two positions, right? Force to two valves, no matter close or and valves, you know. And the AQ electronic control unit and the solar reserve front and high and a high pressure accumulator. So all these, you know, are inserted into in this breakup system, which is the main brake system or the original system. So 
a really bad and three high frequency solenoid valves, right? So that are connected, you know, to the high pressure accumulator. So you see the valves right here, which is connected here, this is connected here, and we have the three valves. So the solenoids right here, you see, so solenoid valves. So they are controlled, you know, uh, from the, they have a signal control, a PWM, from the AQC, in the AQ, electronic control unit, through the solenoid. We have the symbol here, and to this valve, it's a two, two position valves, right? So, this here, when uh, the valve, you know, the solenoid valve is used to connect the high pressure accumulator and the pressure relief valve. So, two shut off valves that are connected to the relief valve and two front uh, wheel uh, chambers right here, right? So, those are the basic components. So, when the backup mechanism is active, so the first step is providing the compressor from the backup air accumulator through the pressure to a pressure adjust valve to the normal operating pressure valve. So, then the AQ of the ACU unit, control unit, so it controls the solenoid valve, as I said before, by a PWM method to adjust pressure here, you know, delivered to the front axle circuit. So, so this is the front axle circuit, so this is to control the pressure to the front axle circuit from a, a system, right? So, the brake pedal depth is, for example, measured to estimate uh, the required brake force and used to control the PWM signal to adjust the pressure into the brake chamber. So it is controlling through the a PC, I mean with a PWM signal, it's con we are controlling this pressure right here into this, cham this chamber right there. So at the same time, the two shut off, uh, shut -off valves, the, the ones that we saw be previously in the uh, previous slide, right? Um, um, adjust the normal operating pressure valve, right? So the brake pedal, depth, as I said, is measured to estimate the required brake pressure and used to control the PWM uh, signal to adjust pressure into the into the uh, brake chambers right here. And also at the same time, the two the shut off valves close to the road um, between the left and right brake chambers and the quick release valve to prevent the compressor leaked by the quick release valve, the one that we saw, we saw here, uh, the secondary uh, secondary brakes. And here we have the shuttle valves number two, you know, the ones that I'm talking about. I'm not used to doing that, to go back to the slides, but just to show you. So when the driver uh, releases the brake pedal, for example, to reduce the brake's force, so the EQ, right, open the shutoff valves to release compressor here and the quick release valve of the main brake system. So this is basically, basically very basic, you know, uh, uh, way that this uh, system uh, works. So this is from the front back. So we have here now an IQ system, basically it's a control unit. So there's the one, the and solenoid valves, the thing that are implemented or inserted in this new circuit. So now we have the rear back mode or the rear axle uh, or rear backup system structure. Also we have an EQ, electronic control unit, two solenoid valves, I mean uh, two valves, which are two, two, and the solenoid valves that are controlled here via PWM signal right so the circuit of the rear axle backup system is shown here and the system uses a spring brake bar spring brake uh, parking brake i mean spring brake uh, sorry spring parking brake system to provide the backup brake force so the system inserts a three two ah, no, this is a three two uh two two no yes two two normal uh open high frequency solenoid right here just because the valves are controlled by these solenoids right there um that are inserted here into the, in, into the original circuit so the bars are connected with the parking control valve in series right remember here i'm gonna go back again sorry i don't use that number three here is the rear axle back solenoid but we have here uh right there right this this valve right it's connected here secondary lines ah this is this one right there sorry i'm gonna show you this one again here this is uh, so I don't use to do that. Number eight, this is the relay valve parking, right? So you can see here, this is connected. This is front and rear. This is the one that we're checking now. Those valves here, here are connected to this, right? So when the valves are connected with the parking control valve in series, so those valves are connected in series with this parking, um, um, this parking um, valve, parking control valve, right? In series. 
So when the verb va the, va the backup brake system activates, so the EQ, the ECU unit country country, I choose the solenoid valve here, uh, throw the PWM signal, you know, according to the brake pedal depth. So it's important to measure that, you know, so that we have mentioned the deep, you know, how, you know, um, how, you know, how much, you know, the pedal, the brake pedal is pushed, is pushed, you know, so that is a, it is a measure, it's something that has to be measured there. So therefore, the compressor in the parking brake system chamber is then gradually released rather than, or rather than I mean release at once. So when the driver, the driver releases the brake pedal, the air cool, the air cool container will close uh, one of these valves, I'm going to close and then open the other valve, right, so on the via or through the PWM signal uh, from this PWM, the, I mean the PWM signal that is controlled here uh, with this uh, AQ unit to deliver the compressed air from the parking system to uh, into the parking brake chamber, right? Into the parking brake chamber, so it's quite interesting, you know. So the parking brake spin in there is then uh, released and the brake force is removed from the axle. So that's the way, pretty much the way it works. If you want more information about all these, uh, how this system works, I can provide you the working, I mean the the, the paper that of the research, and it explains uh, the, all these things in in, in a more uh, detailed way, of course. Well, so for the experimental results. Um, the proposed system, you know, is used to provide similar brake performance when the main brake is failed or fails due to a leakage, for example, a compression or function. So there are some conditions actually that um, are used uh, in order to verify the performance of this system or this backup brake system. So several conditions, you know, are considered. For example, here the main brake system is active, rear axle brake system fail failures, or so if it has a failure fails, the brake axle brake system, the main brake system fails, and the vehicle speed is at uh, 60 kilometers per hour. So those are the conditions, so when these conditions are met, so the, the system is uh, operated, you know, and there is some results of those uh, experimental, although it's uh, or, or for this study. So the experimental uh, was carried out ac uh, according to the condition listed above. So which condition? The condition that we or the condition that we saw previously in the previous uh, 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 slide. Um, so the, there are some variables that are of course uh, in, uh, considered here uh, for the experimental results. So uh, experimental result: the vehicle speed and the displacement are recorded to calculate the average deceleration and the travel distance. So that we have here: velocity in kilometers per hour, velocity uh, vehicle brake distance with the main brake. This is here we have also velocity and time here and the distance and time. So you can see here, for example, how the distance right here, you know, the more you get the distance and start to say you apply the brakes, you know, vehicle this is the vehicle acceleration front axle backup and rear active. You know, when you have the rear brake active and the vehicle acceleration with front and back of, uh, axle backup. So you can see that when you reach, for example, uh, 50 meters, right? At four point at four seconds, so we start decelerating right here. So maybe there could be some time, some you know, moment in which this curve is gonna go down right here. So this is pretty much some of the results. So we have also here, for example, uh, the distance versus the vehicle acceleration with main brake. See, we have just for example the backup system, but here we have the deceleration with the main brake. So we start you know reaching some distance. At 3.5 seconds, it starts decelerating, right? Or vehicle deceleration from axle normal brake up, rear axle backup. So here we have, for example, the vehicle acceleration with the front axle backup system, and here the vehicle acceleration with the front uh, axle normal brake and rear axle. So we have both here, the rear and front backup and the main brake. And you can see how it is uh, during the time how uh, it decelerates, you know. So when you reach some distance, you start accelerating and stuff. So this is part of the result. If you want also more information about this and to analyze in a more detailed way this, just email me, don't hesitate to come to me, and I will uh, be happy to send you the information of the paper that shows these very interesting results. So that's all for today. We're going to uh, talk about, we're going to keep talking more about other systems during 
and um, suspension systems and we're going to work in the same way we're going to present the classes or the video classes in the same way we do some based on some research works that have been done uh, recently regarding all these systems thanks for your attention and see you then bye have a good day